Stop selling a box. Here's what most people are selling, the box. Okay, what's the box? Well, if you are um, doing event planning, for example, that's a box, event planning. That's a service, okay? If you are selling um, speaking influence, what, speaker training, right? That's actually a box, speaker training. Investment management, right? Money management. Basically, the box is your service or product. Okay, this happens all the time in the financial industry. They have a wholesaler come in who has a box to sell. It's some insurance, you know, everyone can understand this, right? Let's say it's an insurance product. And the wholesaler is like, oh, I'll be happy to come and speak to your people. I'll even pay for this fancy event. And then they'll say, this is why this new annuity or this new insurance product is the next thing. It's the best thing since sliced bread. You're selling the box. And then what happens? The people in there are like, I don't want that box. One of the things they said about the um, objection earlier, I need to think about it. They said it's because there's all these preconceived notions, all these negative associations with annuities these days. They're like, I don't want that box. I heard that box is really expensive. I heard that box doesn't work anymore. As long as you're selling the box, you're gonna get lots of objections. What do you sell instead? You're selling the outcome, you're selling the results, same thing but it all has to do with pulling it out of them and selling the result. And you only know the result if you ask.